All right, welcome to the channel, guys. I'm Sam Ho to level up your mindset and help you win in poker and in life. So let me start by asking you a question. Have you ever found yourself bored or frustrated sometimes at the poker table? And you end up losing your whole stack sometimes because you start playing these hands that you just know you shouldn't be getting involved with. Or have you ever found yourself chasing your losses because you're upset or not being able to summon up the willpower and fold when you know you're beat? Because in this video, I want to talk about the importance of patience and discipline and share with you my top tips on how you can develop these qualities and not blow your bankroll. Now, just before we begin, if you're more interested in poker strategy, then check out my new poker blog at onechipcore.com. I post updates every Sunday and I discuss hand histories and help give an insight into the mindset of a poker player. Right, let's start straight in. Okay, so what is patience? Patience is about being able to wait for those favorable spots and uh, not forcing the situation because you're bored or you're frustrated. Whoa, and Today. now it's great. Yeah. Well, yeah, look at that. Yeah. At the 25.50, so I mean, which is, of course. he oh, ships man. it! He ships it! Levels in oh, wow. Oh. And of yeah. course it's... You see, the truth about success in poker is you're going to be doing a lot of folding. And the reason is because you want to keep your money safe and ready when there's a great opportunity for you to win a lot of chips. If you want to play like the best, then try not to make any mistakes and wait patiently for your opponents to do something stupid. Just like Iceman from Top Gun. Tell him, Goose. You want to know who the best is? That's him, Iceman. Nice cold, no mistakes. Just wears you down, you get bored, frustrated, do something stupid and he's got you. Thanks Goose, and that's right. Have an ice cold mental state and patience. Just like Iceman from Top Gun. And you'll be well on your way to becoming a solid poker player. All right, so I get it. Patience is great for our poker game, but how do I become more patient? Right, so my top tip to improve your patience is to try practicing meditation on a regular basis. You see, meditation will help you become a lot more self-aware of your mind in terms of your thoughts and your feelings. Now, what you're gonna learn is that feeling frustrated or being able to stay patient or feeling anything really for that matter is actually a choice that you can make and it's not something that just happens to you. Right, so I want to share with you a technique that I use to meditate each day. Now, I am a complete beginner, but I do find this technique to be very simple, yet powerful. So all I do is I close my eyes and then I only focus on my breathing. And I count each time I exhale for 30 breaths. Now, during this exercise, sometimes my mind will start to wander and I'll start thinking about really random things other than my breathing and my meditation. So just yesterday, while I was meditating, I started playing random songs in my head and I started thinking about what I was going to have for dinner later that night. Uh, but the important thing here is to notice each time your mind starts to wander. And when that happens, make a conscious decision to bring your attention back towards your breathing and your meditation until you've completed your 30 breaths. You are exercising control over your mind so that the next time you are card dead for hours on end or your opponent gets insanely lucky to beat you in a hand of poker, then notice when you start to feel a little upset or frustrated, then remember your meditation training and decide to stay calm and patient instead. Hussa! Come on, your life is too good to be worried about things like this. Alright guys, let's just do a quick recap. Patience is about waiting for those favourable spots. And don't force the situation. And remember what Goose said. Play poker with an ice-cold mental state, just like Iceman from Top Gun. 
To improve your patience, try practicing meditation on a regular basis and try to become an observer of your mind. This should help improve your levels of patience at the poker table. Right, so before we move on to discipline, I should caveat here that there is a balance you need to achieve with patience. You know, you can't be too extreme and only wait for the absolute perfect opportunity before you even stick your money in, in the hand of poker. What you need to do is put yourself in good enough scenarios on a consistent basis and then make things happen for yourself. You know, one of the big lessons I took from poker, which I now apply in life, is that the perfect time or scenario to, to do anything just doesn't exist. You know, be that to learn that new skill or ability that you wanted to do, or to start that new fitness and exercise regime, or even to start that new book that you've wanted to read. If you go through life making excuses, then you'll never get anything done. So there's a really good quote which I read from Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Workweek. And it goes, perfection is a good ideal and direction to have, but recognize it for what it is, an impossible destination. Now, this was something that really resonated with me because it really helped me get a lot of things done. So I wanted to share this with you guys in the hopes that it does the same for you too. Let's look at discipline. Now discipline is your ability to do something whether you feel like it or not. Or like how I like to describe it as being able to do the thing that you just know is the right thing to do. Because knowing what to do and actually doing it are two completely different things. You can have amazing card reading abilities like the great Daniel Negreanu, but if you don't have the self-control and discipline to actually fold when you know you're beat, then what's the point? Diet is also another great example. I'm sure we all know the importance of eating a balanced and healthy diet, but how many of us really do that? Discipline also means things like sticking to routines. So in poker, this applies both ways in terms of whether or not you're having a good session or a bad session. You know, when you're having a good session, your ego can sometimes start to take over and you'll start feeling like you're the best player in the world and you should move the biggest of the f***ing and start crushing high stakes poker. But in reality, this is when you need to be able to stop and keep that ego in check. Stick to your routine and stay disciplined. Now on the other hand, when you're having a bad session and you're losing, then discipline also means things like being able to like, physically get up from the table and leave the game so your bankroll doesn't take a nosedive. Now, I know this is a lot easier said than done, and trust me, I've been there a lot of times. But also trust me when I say that each time you do it, your mindset will get stronger and it will get easier and easier to do it each time. Consequently, this is actually how you build discipline, which is what we're going to come on to next. Right, so I want to offer an interesting perspective on how you can develop your discipline in poker. Now, if you take a step back, you'll realize that discipline is actually a quality that applies in all areas of your life, not just in poker. So my top tip to develop your discipline is to not underestimate the importance of doing even the most mundane of chores in your day-to-day -day life on a consistent basis. So I'm talking about things like making your bed first thing in the morning each time you get up, or folding your clothes uh, when you've done your laundry, now, I know this may sound silly, but all of these things still require a level of self-discipline. And you are training that discipline each time you do those things. And as your discipline grows, you'll be able to accomplish more significant things that require a lot more commitment. So for me, I was able to stick to a weekly poker schedule where I do 10 to 12 hour sessions, six days a week. And on top of that, I'd also set myself a stop loss limit where if I'd lose any more than three buy-ins, I would just stop and I'd go home. And then I'll come back the next day with a fresh mind, just so I can control my tilt. Now, this is not called being rigid or predictable. It's called being responsible and disciplined. But don't just take my word for it. Navy SEAL Admiral William McRaven says to make your bed, and he claims that you can even change the world. 
Alright guys, final recap here. So knowing what to do alone is not enough. Discipline means actually doing it also. Sticking to routines is also a good sign of strong discipline. Now to develop your discipline, don't underestimate the importance of completing your day-to-day -day chores on a consistent basis. And don't forget what the Admiral said and start by making your bed every morning. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful and interesting and that I was able to help inspire you guys to make some positive changes in your own life. If you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe and let me know down in the comments below as it would really help motivate and inspire me to make more content like this for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.